We have, though, definitely seen a shift in our weather patterns. A lot of people talking about how the weather's changed. It seems like it changed from the 1st of September, from meteorological autumn. A big shift, and it's, it's turned a lot wetter. Is that true? And why have we seen that shift? Well, firstly, it's not strictly speaking true. Actually, the change started to happen a little bit earlier. If we look at the the rainfall through August, this is the average across the whole of the UK, but this is the rainfall through August with the dates going along the bottom here, and this is what we actually saw, this blue line here, and this is the average, the black line here, the accumulated rainfall. The first week or so, we were pretty close to the average, and then, look, we really saw a pretty lengthy dry spell. It didn't rain very much at all, and that's why that, that brown area grows, because we're, we're getting below the average. So August in particular had quite a lengthy dry spell around the middle of the month when you average it over the whole of the UK. But notice that uptick here. So it just starts to change. Really, for that last week of August, we did start to see more rainfall coming in. I want to show you something else interesting about that because actually when you compare it to summer, that dry spell in August, really quite noticeable. Over the whole of summer, so this is going from June through July and August, for the first two months, we were pretty close to that average. Now that is hiding a lot of regional variation because a lot of that rain was falling across the north and the west was a large part of uh, England didn't have a lot of rain or it was falling in short bursts, as is often the case through the summer. But quite interesting to see that. And for more on the, 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 the details for the summer stats, there's another video on our YouTube channel that Alex recorded earlier this week, Alex Burkill with Dr. Mark McCarthy. But just wanted to show you how that, that changed, that transition to dry spell through August, but then right at the end of August. So for that last week, we started to see rainfall increasing. So it wasn't really just that flip as we got into September, we started to see the rain actually changed pretty much after the bank holiday. The bank holiday weekend was the 24th, 25th. Monday the 25th was actually a glorious bank holiday for much of the UK. But after that, we started to see the change. And one of the main reasons for that was, as we talked about earlier, Hurricane Erin. This is the satellite picture from the 24th of August, that big swirl out in the Atlantic. Here's the UK. That big swirl is the, the remnants of Hurricane Erin. It wasn't a hurricane by the stage. It had changed. It was no longer a hurricane. It was a, an ex-hurricane. It had gone through what we call post-tropical transition, and that's the track it took. So on the Friday, it was still a hurricane, and then it transitioned, wasn't a hurricane, and it came sitting out here. And that's what kind of triggered the change. And it also altered, interfered with, with the jet stream. So one of the reasons why the summer was dry and especially hot, hottest summer on record, was the, was the position of the jet stream. For much of the summer, I'm going to try and get my magic pen out now, so let's see if we can make this work. Um, much of the summer, the jet stream was in a position up here, taking low pressure systems up away to the north of the UK, up towards Iceland, and that took all the rain up here, allowing high pressure to be sitting in here, and the winds go around high pressure in a clockwise motion, so that allowed often quite a lot of warm air to be drifting up from the near continent and across the UK. So that was the setup that we had for a good part of summer, the jet stream up here, high pressure sitting close to or to the east of the UK, allowing that warmth to come up. That's why we've had uh, one of the reasons why we've had uh, the warmest summer on record. But what we've started to see now is a shift, partly because of um, ex-hurricane Erin moving in, such a powerful system, such a lot of energy, it tends to interfere with the jet stream. So most of the time we talk about the jet stream, that fast-moving ribbon of air high up in the atmosphere, moving low-pressure systems our way. But when you get particularly energetic systems that go all the way up through the atmosphere, like an ex-hurricane, then that can buckle the jet stream and interfere with it. And what we've seen since Erin kind of came past was that jet stream is now much more in a position much further south and that's bringing the low pressure systems along with it down and coming in from the Atlantic. And we've seen low pressure system after low pressure system moving through, bringing us the spells of rain and bringing us the fairly frequent showers. Now, what can happen sometimes is these ex-hurricanes travel way up to the north and they, what they can do is actually make the jet stream buckle even further and they can go all the way up here and that allows 
particularly in September and October, you get high pressure systems again building in across the UK and you get the warmth returning if those ex-hurricanes travel further north. They can what we call amplify the system and allow warmth to come in, but also they can interfere with them and send them further south, and that's what we've seen over recent times. So that is why we've seen that shift. And yes, although we're getting a bit of a respite this weekend, it looks like into next week the weather is going to remain fairly showery and uh, pretty unsettled.